I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Agri Organics. In last video we have seen the fellowship given by Bayer for PG and PhD students. So in this video we will see what are the documents that are required for this and how to apply for this fellowship. First in Google you can search as www.bckic.in bar Meda bar. So when you search here it will this page will appear. When you scroll down you can find this click here. You have to click on that click here then there will be the application for masters and phd if you are applying for masters then you can click on masters apply now and if you are applying for phd then you can click on apply now in this phd fellowship program for example here i will show masters fellowship program i will i am clicking on this apply now in this there are uh, some details such as basic details here you can enter all your basic details here Next is some person may think this is uh, only for Bhuvaneshwar student, not like that, it is for all the state students. So here they have given the state, district, pin code, everything. Next with respect to this economical weaker section, some will think that I have to obtain the economically weaker section, that certificate. Some will ask if I belong to general category only, I can get that certificate like that. It's not like that. If your income is less than 8 lakh, then you can get that income certificate and you can upload for this. Next with respect to current institution details, you can give all the details. In specialization, you can click here and you can give your specialization and your enrollment number of your university and the course that you have registered and with that date. Next year, you have to upload the bona fide certificate obtained from that university. This is they have given in format. You have to download the template and you have to get signed from your chairman that is a supervisor and the head of department that is particular department and with the head of the institute in some university, Dean PGS, Dean of Postgraduate Studies so you have to obtain signature from all these three authorities next with respect to other educational details you have to upload that um, particular document that are necessary for secondary higher secondary and a bachelor's degree it is provisional degree certificate you can upload next with respect to additional information you can search anything related to this that you have got any fellowship or awards earlier patterns or certificates any other fellowship your publication of articles your publication of any other book chapters like that so you can give everything within 500 dollars if you are mentioning a certificate there you can upload that certificates and everything should be compressed in a single file and it should be less than 1 mb and you have to upload that certificates are uh, the documents next you have to upload your photos next signature letter of motivation some subscribers have asked about this letter of motivation this letter of motivation means this letter should explain everything about you it should be written by you this letter of motivation only decides whether the scholarship will be given to you or not so you should write about your interest by seeing this letter of your motivation this person is eligible for this fellowship like that they should get in their mind so you should mention everything about that is necessary for this fellowship that is what how you have qualified how you are eligible for this what are the such aspect you are going to do so like that you have to mention here so that is known as a that letter of motivation if you are having any doubt in this letter of motivation you can search in google there are many formats for this letter of motivation next with the proof of date of birth you can upload your 10th standard mark sheet next here they have given this undertaking you can go through this undertaking and you can submit if you are having any queries you can contact that info to bckic dot in next information is some universities have not yet started classes for pg and phd that is it will be started from next month only so it is not possible for you to apply within this january 13 that so it is a somewhat uh, less possible if you are from tna also your classes will be started by 7th uh, january only so within seven days they will not alert you chairman or uh, you cannot fix your research topic everything like that I think so it is not possible to apply for you but it is possible for the students those who are already doing PhD or PG so they can apply for this so if you are not eligible for this then you can share to your seniors or some other friends those who are eligible for this fellowship thank you